What's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Golgothan remains, perverse offerings to the void. Fuck yes. So goddamn good. If you've not heard this beast yet, you are slacking in the death metal world. But it's stuff like this. It's limited to 60 fucking copies. But the LP's available, it's just fucking super expensive. Shipping from Australia and stuff, it's kind of gnarly. I found the cassette on Caligari for $6. Can't go wrong with that. Fuck yes. I need to somehow get the vinyl of this because it rules and it deserves to be listened to on wax. So hopefully... I can get my hands on a copy of this in LP form in the near future. Golgothan Remains, Perverse Offerings to the Void. Fuck yeah. And today, I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna be talking about the new Sleep single, Leagues Beneath, on Third Man Records. One track, around 17 minutes of pure fucking stoned out bliss. I love all this new sleep material. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Clarity. I think that was 2013 was when the Clarity came out. That I think that was another originally Adult Swim single. I forget off the top of my head. But here we are once more with Leagues Beneath. And Third Man Records put this out. I snagged it through 20 bucks spin for $11. Really, really cool packaging and stuff. Very old school. Kind of reminds me of like a, like an old 45 even. Like, you know, with like the hole and everything. You get the lyrics on the back, which are very non sabbath -y. And definitely more along the lines of Holy Mountain than anything like Jerusalem and beyond. Like, even sonically, this sounds way more, like, established in, like, their 90s material than it does with anything off of the sciences outside of how fucking awesome Al's bass tone is. Pike's riffs are and their new drummer is like he's an amazing fill-in for Chris and that's a drummer that's like you know it's one of those dudes that I didn't think they were ever gonna be able to fill that void but they did but what's awesome about this as well it's 16 minutes and 48 seconds so 17 minutes but you have an amazing etching on the b-side like it's super sick plain black vinyl but hopefully you guys can see this it's like the uh, marijuana knot and he's like fighting this um kind of like lovecraftian octopus monster thing it's fucking dope but like really really cool stuff a lot of detail i'm trying to find a good way to show you guys this all right it's fucking sick like everything about that is amazing and it sounds so fucking sick like just the song alone like the production on here is amazing it was recorded by Noah Landis mastered by Bob Weston and the etching is by Dave Clock awesome awesome shit hails to third man records like i'm pretty sure that's jack white's label because the sciences fucking rules this new sleep single leagues beneath fucking rules hell yeah this new sleep revival i'm actually glad that sleep woke up properly like seriously like i know for a long time i was like i said i wasn't the biggest fan of the Clarity EP. Well, Clarity Single, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Clarity 12-inch. 
I just wasn't the biggest fan. I was like, ah, it's, it's, it's whatever. I kind of had my expectations where the sciences ended up delivering, but it's still a cool sleep song. It just didn't live up to my expectations. This keeps it very, very heavy, but yet very, very chill. Do not expect any of those like super, super like mellow moments that build up to like a massive like riffarama. This whole track is just a giant riffarama and it's built up into like just this mellow kind of just stoned out tome is just amazing. I love it. And like I said, there's no like made up Black Sabbath worshipping lyrics, but it's cool because like I said, it reminds me of something that would be on Holy Mountain. Purges see descender to core of Caladan. Notice steel shelled form approach the ocean floor. Fathoms build blood flows from ears, nose fractured, crack upon, face plant grows, downward sea abyss fall on, Oshi suns liquid drawn, lowered ribcage gills, rise metamorph vacant, sea suit collides with sea floor. Yeah. I guess Al's been smoking a lot of this stuff and writing tunes. But uh, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff by Sleep on Third Man Records. If you're a fan of Sleep, I cannot recommend this single enough. Grab it before it's gone and, you know, cost you like $200 on Discogs for one song. But this one song happens to be 16 minutes and 48 seconds of total stoned out awesomeness. So if you're a fan of sleep, you're a fan of riffs, and you're a fan of Al's just killer Rickenbacker bass usage, you are going to love, love, love Leagues Beneath because the bass tone on here to me is like the number one buying faction when it comes to this like give it a listen if you're a little skeptical but I completely went into this blind and I'm happy to have another sleep vinyl in my collection especially new material because I never thought something like this would be in my hand yet another new sleep song hopefully we get another new record sometime that doesn't take like 20 plus years but Anyways, Leagues Beneath is a fucking awesome song. Sleep is awesome, and so is Golgotha and Remains, Perverse Offerings to the Void. Fucking A. So one of the best death metal releases you may not have heard this year because it is very expensive and whatnot. But I'll put a Bandcamp link below. Definitely check this out if you have not yet. Total vicious, evil fucking death metal. I love it. Golgotham Remains is the fucking shit. So get into it. And as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hey.